Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another, another, and maybe another Arcado unboxing. I have already been doing a few on this channel, but today we have some more Series 5. We have three of the Giants, um, we have Shadow Roach, Wolf Paw, with no, a White Paw, and Titan Fly Swap. For anyone wondering where my Gold Tusk is, he's right here. I've done an unboxing on him before. I've already shared my thoughts. That video, I think, is only a couple of weeks old, two weeks maybe. Might have been three weeks. Um, so let's just get straight into it. Um, but I do want to say, I would really appreciate if you can please like and subscribe to my channel since it spreads my content. Um, that's all I really have to say. Other than that, I do want to give a big thank you since my past few videos have gotten a lot of support when it comes to views, um, which may not seem like a lot, but to me it just is a lot since a lot of my videos haven't been performing well. So just thank you very much to all my supporters. Alright, let's start off with White Paw here, because um, these two are just, I want to say that for White Paw here. White Paw is a recolor of Series 2 Scratchatron. Taking a look at my checklist, here he is, Scratchatron. And Gold Tusk is a recolor of Tonk. I will get my opinion into the recolors for a second. Um, so about the recolors, I do like that they're here since they are actually a stat change. The old ones have only usually five damage, while these have six damage. And they also have some pretty cool colors on them, so I I like it. But we'll talk about more. We'll talk more about that later. First, let's just talk about the giants in general. I'm opening this off camera right now because well, it usually takes me a while for to open off on cam. There we go. There he is, or she. I don't know if the giants have genders. Any of the kids in this. Here's the controller. Here's the giant. Armor explodes off. Checklist. I already have a few of those. Um, we'll take a look at the checklist in a sec for people who haven't seen it. Okay, so here's White Paw. Let's take them off the. Let's get them all out of the packaging. I did notice a difference with the Giants. The old ones were advertised, let's go back to the checklist. The old ones were just advertised as Giants, 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 while these are Beast Giants. So I think these might have been improved a little by the quality. Because I do think the armor does explode off. The other ones, the armor still goes off, but like, I don't, it, it might be but improved, but I don't know. Either way, I do like how the armor explodes off. I think that's a pretty cool feature. All right, we almost got White Paw out here. Just a little more. Oh yeah, and for anyone wondering, I did get this off Amazon. Um, they are ten dollars. Before these were released, the fifteenth, they were on sold on eBay for twenty-five, which is how I got Gold Tusk early. All right, here's a White Paw. Let's do a quick three sixty. Here, let's take a look at the design first. We have the white feet with these two like black furs spots. We have a paw logo here with uh, like uh, the armor being. Yellow, black, and white for the most part. Um, here you could also see there's looks to be like this screen so white pod can see. And this looks to be like a little black mask. Taking a look at the armor on the other side, there also looks to be this little like, I don't know, this is supposed to be like another spot of armor here. Um, pretty cool. And then the way it hits the hit points, it looks to be a paw. And then like, Looks to be a tool of some sorts. Same thing. This, These might be just two tools. Um, taking a look at the stats, we have 9 health, 6 damage. Not bad. And player value of 10. 
and then it says plus one damage because of elemental attack but i don't believe elemental attack counts with giants um here's scratchy time without the armor the pot is upside down which is very confusing because when i searched that up on online because i didn't know if that was normal for white paw i did see some with the paw being like upwards like this some being upside down so comment down below um which one your white paw is if you have a white paw so here's what they look like without the armor blue eyes it's like three like eyebrows scratch marks and then it's just a, it's just like a catfish basically and then with twist strike there's some yellow inside pretty cool now taking a look at the controller we have a nice blue looking controller if you guys see this is kind of curved sideways that might that might not be good sometimes it, it's kind of bad when that happens to giant controllers yeah i could already hear a little bit but it's not horrible i think this one for the most part's okay you could also have a place to set your health no dp counter though there are no giants with a dp counter yet which is something that i think most toys does need to add pretty cool um for anyone wondering about the controllers they are exclusive to the giants here Taking a look at Gold Tusk's controller, he has a nice golden looking one. Oh wait, his is also sideways. Oh wait, that might be like the normal one for Series 5. Anyways, so it, it so Gold Tusk has a golden one, White Paw has a blue one. Which I feel like should be white since it's in the name, White Paw, Gold Tusk. Um, but still pretty cool controller. Let's get White Paw on there. Uh oh, kind of hard to put on. There we go. And the armor fell off, so let's put that on. Here is a white pot on the controller. You can see that it does have a pretty good hit. Now, I will be comparing this to the other ones. Um, taking a look at the giants, so far, let's talk about these two. White paw has nine health and six damage. Um, but Gold Tusk has 10 health and 6 damage. So Gold Tusk is technically stronger when it comes to health. Um, but I think White Paws could get more hits with its attack. As you see here, um, it's more like they have like 4 hit points and like um, Gold Tusk has 2. And it only hits like at the bottom. You would have to go really fast for it to get the headshots. I did want to make that clear. Um, and for anyone wondering on my opinion of the recolors, um, I do think the Series 3 and Series 4 recolors are not the smartest idea, since I still could find a Thorax's yellow version in stores, um, and a Tremor Fist Tail Whip, I could probably get lucky and find one. Um, but I do think the Scratchytron and Tonk recolors are very good, since they are very old. These are from Series 2, so I believe they might be a year old already. Um, so they would be more expensive and harder to find. So I think the, these two are good recolors. The other two, I, I would probably maybe recolor in the future, not immediately. For anyone wondering who hasn't seen the checklist yet, let's move these off to the side. Checklist isn't anything too special. It's still really cool though. Okay. So here we have all the classics, which are not available yet. We have a three pack, which I'm going to be doing a, a review on soon. We have this other three pack, which I will be doing a review on soon. And then here we have the beach science, which is what I am doing a review on with the arena that I do. I already did a, a review on. So I would recommend you go watch that. All right. Let's close that up. And let's go on to our next giant here. Let's go on to Shadow Road. Now, at first, when I saw Shadow Roach, I thought this was just, like, a black version of Thoraxis. And for the most part, it is. Um, but, like, when I saw it, I, th I thought you couldn't see anything. My just phone quality wasn't the best when I saw this on video. Because that's where I saw this Shadow Roach. And I feel like it looks, it looks kind of bad on video. But in person, let's see what it looks like in person now. I think Shadow Roach, if it does have a health benefit here... Um, that would be pretty cool. But the thing about the stat change, I said I like the stat change, but the thing about it, 
is that it's only by one H by one DP, so it's not the craziest stat change. I believe these might be the only re no, we've had a few recolors of we've had one recolor of Nightblade in series two. I'm just seeing what other recolors we have, but that one got an extra weapon. For the most part, these are just recolors with a stat change. Which is still pretty cool. Alright, controller. Guide. Throw the box out. We've already shown this a few minutes ago. Okay, let's take out the controller first. This black controller. Roach. His armor is pretty in there. There's his armor. We're actually going to leave that off. It is. For Shadow Roach, I do have something. I, I have a little thing to add to it. His normal counterpart. So, taking a look at the armor, I feel like the armor is basically the same thing but i think i kind of prefer the black one here i like how it's more like it just looks more menacing than a nice um translucent yellow but other than that it's very similar i mean i'm not complaining it's a pretty good armor now one thing that i do want to say since they're recolors this means i could put the black armor on the normal thoraxes which is probably gonna, which is pretty cool or I could put the translucent yellow on this one. So I, I guess you could do that if you have both three colors. Which if you want to do is probably fine. Because you know it's the same armor. Just different color. So maybe with the three colors. There is a little bit of customizability to it. But I don't know if that would count in like battles. That would be allowed. Now taking a look at the stats. The old one has 10 health 5 damage. Player value of 10. This one has 10 health, 6 damage, player value of 10. Oh, I believe that's plus 1 to the blue. So some of these might actually have some elemental attack abilities too. Um, so I do want to add, so these might be a little bit stronger. So uh, maybe the recolors aren't the worst. Now, taking a look at the little circle here that you have to hit the split strike them. This one has a lightning bolt, the other one, this one's a bug. And when he is split strike, he is just gray inside. Um, I forgot what else it was. I can, oh yeah, the controller too. He has a nice black controller because his name is Shadow Roach. So Shadow as in black. So he has a black controller. But, like a, going back to White Paw, he has the word white in his name. But he has a blue controller. So it's kind of confusing, but I still like the controllers. Another thing about the controllers is that since they're all very similar, you could also do customizability with what controller you want. For the most part, though, Shadow Roach is pretty cool. I'll probably use him in a few Kato Battle videos. Maybe we could do one against Thoraxis. So we'll see which one's better, the recolor or the normal one. Um, but other than that, he isn't anything too special. He does not want to get down his controller. Yeah, some of these, it is kind of hard to put them on the controller at first. Whatever, I'll take, I'll leave him off his controller for now. Actually, I'll try one more time. Let's see. I believe I did have the same problem with Thoraxis though with getting him on the controller. Yeah, he doesn't want to go on. We'll just we'll take them all off controllers for now. So what we could do is put white pot here. Put the armor on We could do it just like the image in the checklist. And then three controllers, so this. They're organizing a little. So here's what we have. So far we have three giants, series five, and three controllers. All right, for our last one, and probably one of my personal favorites, I love the color on this, 
from Titan Fly Swat, not Tremor Fist Tail. Titan Fly Swat. He is related to Tremor Fist Tail, I believe. I also believe this is this is Fly Swat in giant form. Fly Swat is a yellow counterpart to. I already forgot. It. Is a yellow counterpart to Tail Whip. For the most part, a counterpart, I would say. Alright, time to unbox more off cam. Um, I personally think this is my favorite recolor just because of the colors on him. He's pretty cool. I do like the mix of red and green on him. Which we will take a look at more close up. I don't know how to cut the bottom tape, but we, we got this. There we go. Okay, back to finally opening off on cam. We have a green controller, which matches tight and fly swap color. Come on, check this. And then here, here it is. Bye bye. Oh, this one was the easiest to take out. Oh, yeah, I forgot to compare. Shadow Roach also does have four hit points, so they are both pretty good compared to, like, Gold Tusk, which you have to just tap really fast. Here's his beautiful-looking armor. Now, I do want to talk about one thing. Here, we also have Shadow Roach's Tail Whip because we are going to be doing more comparisons. I'm starting to believe that Akato wants to get rid of their more translucent like armor and get more like solid like this red one. This green looks to be kind of translucent. Um, I don't know if that's true, but maybe it is because this one you can see a little through, this one you can't at all. Alright, taking a look at the figures, they are both pretty similar. I believe there might be a small change to the fists. Oh yeah, the spikes, I guess you could say. No, yeah. not really. For the most part, it's just recolors. Taking a look at his stats, 10 health, 6 damage, nothing new. And then 10 player value of 10. So just like Shadow Roach and Gold Tusk. But he does attack in a different way. He has two big fists that he swings from side to side, which could be pretty good if you go fast with. Some you have to go slower, some you have to go faster, or some you can just go normal speed. So, taking like a turn off his tail up here, he is from Series 3. They both have same retail price. Um, so, nothing different about that. If we do an armor swap real quick, um, Titan Fly Swap with his basic armor. Let's put that on first. Nice. Turn off his tail up with Titan Fly Swap armor. Pretty cool combination. I actually like with the red armor with the mostly red and green body. It's pretty cool. And then transition green armor on Trevor Fistella. Pretty basic. Had him for a while now, so pretty easy to get like that. Now this actually looks pretty cool on Titan Fly so the trans green armor. And then he also has, I forgot to mention, these gray pants-ish, I think. Um, and he has spikes on his feet, just like Tremor for Steel So pretty cool. Let's put him in his actual armor for him. Also, um, he fell. Tremor for Steel has an uh, earth thing. Um, Titan Fly Swats has, like, scratch marks. He has a scar here. He has a longer tongue, too, with, like, some black things on it. Sticks, maybe, flies. Wait, Fly Swat. Oh, it's just probably flies. And then another scar on this side. So this, so Titan Fly Swat has some miniature recolor details, um, which I like. Let's let him join battle for And let's put the controller there. Keep sorting off. Yes. All right, so let's get Tremor, tail, Tremor Fist Tail Whip out of here. He still is a pretty good pickup if you could find him in stores. This is a good giant for some starters for some people who are new. 
All right, so let's take a look at the Series 5 stuff in general. We have a gold controller, a blue controller, a black controller, and a green controller. Me personally, I think the blue one's my favorite. Even though I say, I keep saying it should have been a white because the white paw, I still really like it though. I love it. I, I, I keep saying but I love it just because I love the nice little colors on it. I, I, I probably will use it with most of my giants, even though I will be using stadiums. I'll probably be using the stadiums that I have. I have the tag team back there. And I have the And they also have gold tusk. Um, let's read. Uh, I'll probably write these all out. So I'm just going to go to 10. Gold tusk. Would I recommend you buy him? That's probably what we'll do instead because I always say that. Would I recommend you buy gold tusk? Um... I love his colors and I love his controller. I, this might be my favorite giant when it comes to colors and design, but when it comes battle-wise, he isn't the strongest. He does lose to a lot of older giants. I've tried him a lot. White paw. Um, the colors pretty good. What um, it has four hit points or like contact points. It has a pretty good stats. Um, not the best stats though. It has nine health and six damage, while the basic for all these three is ten health six damage. So this one isn't fully the best, but it's still a pretty good pickup. Um, would I recommend this? Probably. Shadow Roach. He has the same. He has ten health six damage. So that's like the basic stats um here. But when it comes to design wise, it's just like Thraxis. But just fully black. Just fully black. Giving him a new version. And boom. So I probably wouldn't recommend this one. No hate though. I, I still wouldn't like it. And then Titan. Titan Fly Swat. He has the bare minimum. Which is 10 health 6 damage. Um, So that's pretty good. The armor actually stands out to the shoulders too. Which is one complaint for Shadow Roach. His doesn't go fully to his shoulders. Unlike the other two. Well, except for gold tusk. But for the most part, that's pretty close. Um, so I do like that. I do like the design of the armor. Um, I think his weapons, even though it's two contact points, this one is still pretty strong when his fists are flying around. Um, so I would recommend this one. So the two I recommend would be probably White Paw and probably Fl Titan Fly Swat. Um, but if you're just a Kato collector, I would probably just get both of them. If you're new to a Kato and you want to get some pretty good characters, then these two would be worth it. Um, other than that, please like and subscribe. Um, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.